hello and welcome to this video in this video we are going to be installing cassandra on windows and for the installation we are going to be using uh, docker uh, as you know that uh, cassandra is not natively supported in windows so we will use docker as a container in which cassandra is going to run seamlessly so for the requirements we're going to need uh, the java development kit and we are going to need docker itself so let's go over to our browser and download these two requirements so i'll start uh, uh, to search for the jdk download and i'll head over to the java website there and i will choose the latest version which is jdk24 there and i'll choose my operating system i'm using windows if you are if you are using linux or mac os of course you would have to choose your operating system there but in my case i'm sure i'm using windows so i'm going to click on windows and i will download the 64-bit installer here um which i can download from this link so i'll click on that link and i will click on save for the download to start so my my download is uh, going on there then uh I'll also head over to the Docker website to download Docker desktop. I'll go to the Docker website and I'll, I have the option to download Docker desktop here. And my my computer, of course, is um, a Windows AMD 64-bit computer. I'm going to click here and I will download the Docker installer as well. So I'll wait for my downloads to finish and then I will start the installation process. And my downloads are finished, so I'll head over to my downloads folder where I'll have my two files that I've just downloaded. So I'll start by installing the JDK installer, uh, which is the Java development kit. I'll just double click on that to start the installation. Okay, I'll just click next, next for the installation to proceed. There's nothing that you really need to change there. Just let the installation uh, proceed and wait for it to finish. And my Java development kit installation is completed. I'll just close here. And then I'll head over to the Docker installation. So I'll double click on the Docker desktop installer. And the desktop installer will start to unpack and install. Of course, uh, uh, I'll need all the, op uh, all the options checked. So I'll check all the options here that I have and click on OK and my installer will start to install i'll wait for it to finish and then i'll go on to the next steps of configuring my cassandra instance And after a short while, my installation is done. So I'll click on close here. And I will head over to just start Docker. So I'll click on the Docker desktop here to start it. And sometimes if you don't see the the docker dashboard here it may be running in your system tray so sometimes if you don't see it uh, showing here you just go into your system tray and you will see the docker icon there um, showing that docker is running in your system tray so in my case um, docker has started and i'll just accept the service agreement and i'll just uh, skip this i don't need to uh, log in or create an account so I'll wait for Docker to start uh, and it says they're starting the Docker engine. So the container is starting so that I can start to set up my Cassandra database management system in Docker. So 
right and uh, my docker has fully started and is running i can just minimize it and head over to the command prompt go over to the command prompt there uh, i'll just type cmd press enter so on the command prompt here i'll just uh, uh, start the docker setup of cassandra or setting up cassandra in docker so the first command that i want to run there is uh, docker pull cassandra So the docker pull cassandra you are simply uh, instructing docker to install the the instance of cassandra database management system in docker docker being the environment under which cassandra is going to run so i'll wait for docker to install my cassandra instance in the container and my docker has completed the installation of um, cassandra in the container i'll then go back to our uh, um, uh, instruction sheet so i'm going to be typing this command uh, on the command prompt so that i can create a binding between the ports in docker and the ports on my host computer so i'll head over to the command prompt And on the command prompt, I'll type docker run uh, port 7000 and bind it to port 7000. I'll also open port uh, 7001. I'll also open port um, 7199. And I'll also open port 9042, two like that. And I will say name minus D, so name Cassandra, Cassandra latest. And I'll press enter. So that binding has been uh, created and now uh, I can now uh, check the process status of Docker or check if the ports have indeed been opened and the binding is, uh, is now in place. The binding of the ports is in place. So I'll just type Docker PS just to check that it's happening. And I'll, you'll see that um, under, the, under the ports, uh column here uh, i've i have uh these column headings here co uh, contain id image command created uh status and the ports that um that i've just opened and you can see that the ports that i just opened are really mentioned here uh this really shows that my ports are now able to pass data between my host computer and docker so my docker is up and running and i'm ready to use uh, cassandra now if i go back to to docker and observe what is happening there i should see my cassandra instance now in docker under containers here i now see my cassandra instance installed in docker and the container id is right here and the post that i just opened they are all showing here. I can click on show all ports so that I can show all the ports that I've just opened, right? And here you can see that Docker is running and it was started two minutes ago. So I'll just uh, minimize this and go back to, to my uh, command prompt. So what I have to do here is I have to now uh, go into the CQL uh, command prompt or the Cassandra query language command prompt and for me to do that, I type the command uh, docker execute exec for for execute minus t, and then I go over to double click on my 
uh, I'll go over to double click on my uh, oops I don't want this I'll go over to double click on my container ID here and I'll copy that container ID and paste it there so I want to execute whatever is in this container ID with that container ID um, uh, whatever is in the docker container with that container ID okay and I have to execute it on the bash uh, command line and I press enter and you can see now here I have a Linux like uh, environment uh, the command prompt that you'd find in Linux and there I then type cqlsh for me to open the Cassandra query language uh, bash command line and there we are we are on the cql command line uh, i'll just start to type a uh, cassandra query language statements so i'm just gonna try one uh, statement here the create key space statement so create statement if not exists uh, i'm going to create a key space called demo with replication equals Okay, and the replication class is going to be a simple strategy and my replication factor and replication factor is going to be three so I want this um, this uh, key space to be replicated on three nodes so the cluster is going to have three nodes so my statement is complete I'll just press enter for this statement to run and my key space has been created so I can now uh, uh, list the number of key spaces uh, on my Cassandra instance uh, desk key spaces uh, put a semicolon and press enter so I can see now that uh, the demo key space has been uh, created right there. So that's uh, how you can install uh, Cassandra on Windows using Docker. I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video. And if you like the video, please uh, comment, please share, please like the video. Um, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.